was hanging, suspended ten feet in the air, gripping the handles for dear life. The rest of me had gone completely limp, and I was repeating to myself over and over again, don't let go. I knew this was a bad idea. I shouldn't have gone in the first place. I didn't even like extreme water sports to begin with. There isn't really any way to go on the lake with a group of friends in the summer and not get roped into these extreme water sport activities. The summer was a little different though. We were in Alabama, not in Michigan. Several people had said we'd be okay. This was a man-made lake. This was a man-made lake that also flowed to a river that flowed to the ocean. And it's well known by Shark Week fanatics. Bull <laughs> <laughs> sharks have traveled. They have been sighted as far north in the Mississippi River as Illinois, and as we were about to discover, also east in Alabama. <laughs> it all started several months ago. One of my good friends, Amy from college, had invited me and a couple other friends, Kelsey uh, and Kara, to her parents' lake house in Alabama. Upon my first impression, it was very serene. There was lush vegetation everywhere, lots of trees. We were pretty much off the grid because we had no cell reception. The next day, we decided to take the boat out, and I got a very different feel. It was quite eerie. Amy's brother, John, was driving the boat, and I couldn't help but get caught up in my surroundings. The sky was this drab, depressing gray color, the water a murky brown. Lots of debris everywhere. Trunks of trees floating suspiciously in the water, <laughs> bobbing as if something beneath had perturbed the surface. Just as I had gotten caught up in the surrounding, the heckling began. Kara emerged from the bottom cabin with two industrial-sized inner tubes for our tubing adventure. And she called out, who's first? The great news is we have two of these, so two people can go at the same time. I avoided eye contact and was pretty much voluntold immediately that I was going to go with Kelsey. And Kelsey had been adamant this entire trip that she wanted to be bucked off the tube like a Bronco. I did not want so much of an extreme ride. So I immediately came up with excuses. Oh, my shoulder hurts. I, I don't want to go too fast. I don't want to get thrown off. I don't like lake water up my nose. <laughs> Amy's brother quickly interjected and said, oh, no, no, don't worry. I know how to drive the boat so that only one of you gets the extreme experience and the other one gets the calm ride. <laughs> I should have been skeptical, but he sounded confident. So I said, OK. I didn't think that John would be the kind of person who could literally steer me wrong. <laughs> they tossed <laughs> the tubes off of the boat. Kelsey was super excited. She leapt onto hers, just smiling and giggling. I crawled onto mine. I didn't want so much as a toad to enter this water. Sure enough, John started the boat nice and slow to get the rope taut. This is the best way to prevent whiplash off the bat. He started driving, picking up speed very gently and started swishing side to side as if skiing in the water. And it was, it was kind of fun. We were gliding over this debris like superwoman. <laughs> and then he started picking up pace and it became evident that he was in fact going to drive this boat. As he said, Kelsey was getting thrashed on the outside and I was just a spectator over here. Then he started driving the boat in circles once twice, three times, I didn't really know what was going on, and he took off through the center of the circle, and Kelsey then went to the outskirts, the perimeter, into the calm of the water, and I was heading directly toward the middle. At this point, the waves, they had been colliding, they had been churned up so much that they were basically spiking out of the water so intensely. I was not the only one caught off guard, angry, upset, confused. Something beneath was too. <laughs> and this is when I saw it. Just as we took off toward the center of this choppy water, this murky brown body that looked camouflaged into its surrounding of murky black water came lunging out of the water. And that's when I saw its mouthful of razor sharp teeth. But just at that moment, what saved me was the front of the tube that I was on 
hit the top of two waves that had collided and sent me skyrocketing into the air 10 feet. And this is where I was gripping for dear life. My friends in the boat were shrieking in terror. They didn't know what was going to happen. The shark, I don't even know where it went. Apparently it was going for Kelsey, and at this time I was wafting down so slowly <laughs> on my tube, about to hit Kelsey, and the shark lunged straight up out of the water, and I hit it on the top of the nose, which is exactly what Shark Week tells you to do. <laughs> 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 Sharks have a lot of sensitivity in their nose, so not only did the shark take off in an audible whimper, but Kelsey and I made it onto the boat safely. And I became a tubing legend. But the moral of the story is, if you ever find yourself in one of these scenarios roped into extreme water sports, whatever you do, don't let go. <laughs>